the positive, you're gonna love the Alvin Show. There's games to fill, and what is more? Here's the boy who giggles, known as Theodore. Now you see, on camera three, the brother known as Simon on the family tree. And here's the star of the show. Let's go, boys. We'll run through the new song once and... Alvin. Alvin, put that yo-yo away. Okay, Dave. And Simon, put down that book. Sure, Dave. Theodore, will you stop playing with that parakeet? Okay, Dave. All right, we'll run through it once and... Alvin, put that yo-yo away. Okay. Simon, the book. Yes, Dave. Theodore. Now listen, we've got a song to rehearse. Now, let's get down to business. Now, here's the tempo. Got it? All right. One, two, one, two. All right, hold it. What is this, amateur hour? You're playing too fast. Oh, I see. You think it's too fast. <laughs> Theodore, stop that giggling. What's so funny? It's your Shoo, shoo, get off that metronome, George. All right, now, let's settle down. Here we go. One, two, one, two. Oh. <laughs> What's the trouble, my fine prima donnas? Well, uh, Dave, it's not one of your better songs. So now Simon the Critic doesn't like my song. <laughs> Theodore, stop that giggling. That. George, this is getting ridiculous. All right, I'm the songwriter around here, but if you think it's too fast, and you don't like the tune, and if you think you can do things better... Well, don't get mad, Dave. I'm not mad, but I've had it. I have had it. That song is due tomorrow, so you guys can just handle the whole thing. If you decide you need my services, I'll be on the golf course. Okay. That's right, okay. Uh-oh. That song is due tomorrow, and now Dave's mad, and we could lose our contract. What are we gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write the song, and I'm gonna record the song, and I'll show Mr. David Seville, and get that bird off your head, Theodore. Okay, Alvin. <laughs> Where you going? Home, where I belong. What a 
nut. A guy like that gives golf a bad name. All right. Here's the beat. It's too fast. It's too slow. It's just right. I ought to know I wrote the song. Now, let's go. Ready to do your Alvin's neighbor? Oh, oh yes, indeed. All right. One, two, one, two. What are we supposed to do? You do the cha-chas. Ready for the Alvin's neighbor? <laughs> oh, oh, yes, indeed. All right. Check. One, two, one, two. I don't like the way Dave does it. Mother taught me never to yell at children. I can't understand what came over me, walking out on the kids, yelling at them like that. I'll never yell at the kids again. I will not yell out. I will not yell Alvin. Imagine carrying on like that. If they're always fighting, you know. Great Scott. What is our position? Longitude 53 degrees north, latitude 65 degrees south. What does that mean? That means we're lost. Lost? A periscope. Aye, aye, sir. Check to the north. Nothing, sir. Check south. Nothing, sir. Check east. Nothing, sir. Then check to the west. Many were the ones. 
David, that was wonderful. Well, thank you, Jeannie. You know, I'd love to hear those darling chipmunks of yours sing that song. With those sweet little voices, I'll bet it would sound wonderful. By the way, Dave, when am I going to meet them? Very soon, Jeannie. As a matter of fact, as soon as we... We dream of a will be 89 and you'll keep doing it until I'm sure that you'll never forget the right words to this song again. Sing! We Perhaps you are wondering why I called you all here. Uh, Leonardo, if you please. Hello? Uh, Clyde Crash Cup here. Uh, yes. To make a speech? Uh, yes. Yes, I'd be honored. Leonardo, lay out my tuxedo. Uh, 7.30 tonight. Uh, fine, I'll be there. Just who do you think that was, Leonardo? It was only the National Association of Conglomerated Scientists. That's all. They only wanted me to make a speech tonight. That's all. Just think, Leonardo. I, Clyde Crash Cup, honored guest, speaking before all my brother scientists. Don't feel too bad about not being invited, Leonardo. I'll tell you all about it when I get home. Right here, Mr. Crash Cup. You're just in time. Okay, camera one, take it away. Mr. Crash Cup, you're on. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, honored guests, and fellow members of the National Association of Conglomerated Scientists. As I look out over this great sea of intelligent faces... Uh, pardon the interruption, Clyde Crash Cup, but this is your life. Oh, my goodness. No, I, I can't believe it. Good heavens, oh, what a surprise. I, I can't believe it. Why me, good heavens? Come now, Mr. Crash Cup. Try and compose yourself. Sit there in the chair of honor. I, I can't get over it. My life. Uh, Clyde Crash Cup, famous inventor and humanitarian. Yes, it was in a great vineyard in Fresno, California, that Clyde Muscatel Crash Cup was born... Signs of his first inventive genius became apparent at the age of four, when he invented the wine press after catching his head in a clothes wringer. <coughs> uh, uh, not exactly. It was after I invented the wine press that I caught my head in the clothes wringer. Of course. 
and Clyde Crash Cup, always in quest of improvement, went on to Fresno University. Do you remember this, Mr. Crash Cup? Oh, oh, yes, yes. Uh, th that was taken at Lincoln High School, right after I blew up the science building. And now, Mr. Crash Cup, listen to this voice. A voice you haven't heard in over 30 years. I always knew Clyde would be something someday, but I didn't know what. Why, that's my fifth grade teacher. Yes, Mr. Crash Cup. Here she is, your old school teacher, Miss Carrie Jones. Miss Jones. My goodness, Clyde, you certainly turned out to be a handsome man. Besides being the dumbest kid in the class, you are also the ugliest needle-nosed lunkhead I ever taught. And now you have your own television show. Oh, my goodness, well, miracles never cease. You're certainly ugly. All through high school and all through college, Clyde knew that strong bodies make strong minds, so he threw himself wholeheartedly into the field of sports. And now, from backstage, another voice from your past. Clyde was an inspiration for the whole team. His support made the team what it was. That must be my old football pal, Bronco Schultz. Clyde! Bronco, you old son of a gun! Gosh uh, sakes! Good old Crash Bronco, Cup. am I glad to see you. Clyde was in there even when we didn't need him. <laughs> I remember the time he left his water bucket on the field, and I tripped over it and broke my collarbone. <laughs> remember that, Clyde? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the really funny oh, yes, thing... Uh, <laughs> Oh, Bronco. The time I was on my way to a touchdown, and you left your bucket on the field again. Ah, and I tripped over it and fell down again and broke my ankle in three places and didn't make All-American. Ah. Remember, Clyde? I always wondered how I could find you. <laughs> Boy, do I feel better. How's that, Mabel? I told you I'd get him. Now, Clyde Crash Cup, listen to this voice. <laughs> you can't fool me there, sir. My dog, Fido. Yes, Mr. Crash Cup, that is your faithful and inseparable companion, Fido. Here, Fido. Here, Fido. Here, boy. Did you miss Clyde? <laughs> Down, boy, down, 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 boy. Listen to this voice, Mr. Crash Cup. My boy was always the head of his class. I was the most proud mother in all of Nebraska. Do you recognize that voice, Mr. Crash Cup? Uh, no, 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 I don't. It's your mother, flown all the way from Plainview, Nebraska. What are you doing? Put me on! This is not my son! <laughs> Fly all the way from Nebraska to meet that lunkhead! I don't like that, but I'm already going to Mr. Crash Cup, listen to that voice. I know that voice. That's my assistant, Leonardo. Leonardo, you old rascal. You knew about this all the time, didn't you? You made a mistake, Leonardo. That last lady was not my mother. What happened? Oh, it was your mother, and you wanted to take advantage of the free airplane trip. Of course. And now, if you will all gather around our honored guest, Clyde Crash Cup, this is your life. It has been a pleasure and a privilege to bring you to the audience the wonderful and exciting life. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Now what are we going to do? What's the matter, Dave? What's the matter? There's been a big mix-up, and we're left without a band for tonight's performance. Gee, 
Don't worry, Dave. Don't worry? Sure. Alvin's got a band. Alvin's got a what? You guys all know what to do? Three, swing and dig. Affirmative. Cool. All right. It's almost showtime. Good luck. <laughs> Alvin, did you get a band? Yes, Dave, I did. Why didn't you tell me? Who'd you get? What about the music? How are we good? Easy, Dave. We rock. We're all set. I took care of everything. Now look, Alvin, I keep curtain, Mr. Seville. You're on. <laughs> We're going to sing a song about a man named Casey. A waltz. A strawberry blonde and a band that played. Alvin, what is the band doing on stage? They belong down there in the pit. Bye. 